even make it we, happen. I, this the first time I saw we was in um we was at the um at a, just the basket. It's out here. We was in New York. Same little booty over there on the square. Look. And you know I ain't, I ain't saying that to her. She was looking decent and shit. She was looking good. So I ain't saying that too, and shit, I'm right there hooping and shit. Then I ain't had no jewelry and all that shit, no money mm. like that. Shit. So I'm like, like, she had a big ass Gucci glass, Gucci this and Gucci that. And we was playing basketball against Meek and them, me and Dirk mm -hmm. and shit. Ooh. Dirk had got, just got signed to my label, Alamo. So they're like, Asian, we having a, a celebrity basketball game. Do you want to do it? I'm like, hell yeah, yeah. I'll play basketball because they know I used to play basketball. So when they told me who to play, they like, Meek Mill, Dirk. Ollie. I'm like, y'all think I'm finna get out there with them niggas and play basketball? You crazy? These people thought I was finna get out there and play basketball with Dirk and them and all them niggas and shit. Nigga, this is a hood to hood game at this point. You talking about motherfucking Meek, Dirk, then if Vaughn's playing two out on rough ass niggas, I said, hell no, nah. I'm gonna be the only girl out there. I'm gonna look s slow. But so I remember Vaughn playing basketball, they playing, we, we sit on the side, me and Juju sit on the side, we talking and shit like that. He playing. He was playing so motherfucking rough. I'm like, why the fuck is he so rough? He was playing rough, y'all. Like, he was fucking rough. Like, he was jumping up. He was doing all type of rough shit. He probably was trying to show out the whole time for me. I ain't know. I'm looking at his ass like he crazy. I'm looking at his ass like he crazy. Like, fuck. That nigga playing hard in a bitch. He playing like he belong in the, the NBA. <laughs> Bro, showing his ass at that fucking game. I ain't even get to talk to her. My homie tried to talk to her and shit, whatever. She shot him yeah. down? Yeah, she ain't, huh? she ain't, they ain't really want to do no talking, nothing. You know how that shit go. So he sent one of the boys to come, come over there. I, 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 I just felt, I found out a lot of shit about when he met me that he told me that I didn't know, like, they had this shit planned. Me anyways. He sent one of them over there and shit like that, the light skin one. You know, they try to send a light skin one to see if you're going to talk to the light skin. Nope. My homie BJ so thirsty, he tried to talk to him and shit. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm gonna let him go shoot his shot and shit. Ooh. Right. He said, Some me like what? <laughs> we like what? Because we used to be real funny acting too. Like what? Because you mind you, I had just got signed. I used to bring Juju around me all the time. So she used to be around me when I be with all these rappers and shit. So you think other niggas ain't try to talk? So I was just so annoyed to the point where it's just like, mm, leave me alone. And when people used to like me, I used to. My shit be getting bright. When people used to um, used to like me, I used to just avoid it. But Vaughn, it's kind of different. It was like a bitch. You ain't finna ignore me, bitch. What what's that? What's what Nikki say? You can't get rid of me, bitch. And that was Vaughn. Vaughn was that was Vaughn. You can't get rid of me, bitch. But then I see her again at the studio. She did a feature with Dirk. And I'm steady flirting with her, trying to talk to her and shit. She's laughing and shit. Then I see her again. Now I'm, I'm fake drunk at the love uh, release party for Dirk shit, for Dirk album. I see her. But I ain't know she was fake talking to somebody else right there. Mm -hmm. But I'm still, I'm on her, I'm feeling, I'm off the, uh, whatever, the, the licking and shit. So I'm grabbing her hand and shit, trying to talk to her and shit. Oh. <laughs> Pim, Pim, he hadn't seen me in years. That's like, that's my homie. So he hadn't seen me in years too, bro. He, he immediately handed me the blunt. He was so happy to see me game. So Vaughn just kept bothering me. And then I'm just like, bro, who is this boy? He just kept fucking bothering me, bro. Bothering me, bothering, bothering me. But at first, Vaughn kept touching my hair. Y'all, my pony, I had got my pony, his pony said did, extendo pony said did, and it was not, like, stable, like, the bitch had it in body paint. You know what, like, you get a hairstyle at the last minute, and it's only for, it is only for, um, like, for a certain thing, and, like, bitch don't touch my hair, because it probably come off. It was one of the ponytails. So, when Vaughn was touching my hair, I was so confused, because I'm like, this nigga touching my motherfucker. At first, I didn't know he was touching my hair. I thought my rubber band had popped, because I had, like, this little yarn. I had this little gold string on my ponytail. I'm like my I'm like I told my friend I told Juju I said Juju I think my ponytail popped look at my head she was like hell nah it's perfect the whole time is Vaughn in my head playing I ain't know it was him at first playing my motherfucking her. so 
Hey, put my hair and shit. So um, I he recorded me. I look. He played my hair. I look up. I look like this though. Then he was recording me. Then I was I started smiling and shit. But I really was like, why this man playing in my motherfucking hair? That's what I really was like. So we walking out or whatever. We walking out. So Vaughn telling me he like um he like where y'all going? I'm like who is this boy? <laughs> So we walking out. We walking out, y'all. I don't even know this man. This man got his hand around my waist. Like, I'm like, whoa. Now, I take Dirk phone, I get in his DM, like talk to my brother. Ooh. Yeah. And then she nah, ain't talking to Dirk. him. I mean, talk to my motherfucking brother. Ooh, I'm taking that DM and shit. It's him. That's she hilarious. Said, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, no, no, no. I said no a million a million times. No. No, 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 bitch. I said no so much I got tired of saying no. I'm like, let me go on a date with this nigga. Soon as I said, soon as I said okay, I said okay, this man bun called me in seconds. <laughs> but she um she sent the number and shit. I was saying she lived in Atlanta. Now I right, when am I go to the crib? Now Dirk out of town. He left his truck in my car. He got a track car. That bitch is raw. So I'm, ooh, I got Dirk car today. So I'm I go pick up and shit. I tell her I'm gonna take her out and shit. I knew, you know, I ain't slow. I knew the dirt car. I ain't thinking, like, oh my God, he got a car. They got 300 on it. I'm like, that's dirt car. Because I had already seen dirt post a car. But it made it was so cute because I'm like, these niggas sticking together. That's crazy. They like, dirt helping him out, letting him see the car for the weekend just so it can impress me. Like, they, like, I swear to God, like, it was so fucking ironic to me that they was doing all this just to get little old me. So I got a little money. I only had like, I was fucked up at the time, like six hundred dollars in my shit, and a little outfit, a nice little outfit. In my aunt, I put that on. Took some of Dirk cologne and shit. <laughs> took his car. <laughs> shit, I wanna go pick up. Took out to eat and shit. So he came pick me up. He kept saying, he kept calling, and making sure I was gonna get ready. He like get ready. He kept calling, trying to make you know make me get ready and shit. So I said, boy, I said, boy, I ain't finna get ready. I said, I'm gonna wear some sweats. He like. He like we going to a a a, a a a a club, a restaurant, or something. I said I don't want to go to a club. I don't go to clubs. <laughs> I was mean as hell. So he had to take me to a little restaurant, a little spot. And I when I when I came outside, y'all, I was pretty as fuck. No makeup, no makeup on. Just my lashes done. I had on some sweats. It was so cold. I had on some sweats and no jacket. I didn't wear a jacket. So um, I ain't got no jacket on. So Vaughn only had a jacket on. He was dressed like he from Chicago. And I remember him being so skinny. When I see him, I'm like, damn, he, I'm like, damn, he, 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 he fine. At first, I, I didn't look at him enough to know that he was fine. But he picked me up, we went to the restaurant and shit like that. So we order food, whatever, we sitting there. This is crazy. Bones a whole different person this day. This man orders shots. I'm thinking he drink. This man orders shots. So we taking shots. The fuck, I don't drink, y'all. I did not drink. Bitch, you would have gave me a. So wine back then, I would have been drunk because like my tolerance was so like I was like I was so like drinking. I just never drunk, so my tolerance was just like low as fuck. So um, he take a shot. This me order two more. So look, the lady, the lady so funny, y'all Atlanta crazy. So look, this is my first ever experience in like going out and this is my first going out on a date with with Vaughn was my first date ever in life. That's number one. My first date I ever sat at a restaurant with a nigga. Getting to know somebody, and it's my first um time getting drunk with a nigga, and it was my first time ever seeing some shit like like what we saw. Like the lady was giving Javon big shots, bigger than mine, cause she was trying to get him drunk. She thinking that, cause I I had sweats on, I looked like I was like I was comfortable. He had on the out, he was he looked at all he he looked at like you know he was he he had dressed up, so she probably like I finna get this nigga drunk so she can juice this nigga. I'm telling y'all, it was that. Because he says. Because he had said something. She like, because we look at the shots. We've been taking shots. We're doing all the cheers. He like, hell no. Nah, you got, I got more than you. Like, y'all, he had a lot more than me. Like, fuck just a little bit. It was so noticeable. So he, the lady came back. He said something to her. Like, man, why you said he giving me more than her? She laughed. She bust out laughing. I'm like, what the fuck? If that was, my, if that was back then, my boyfriend, I would have said something. Like, bitch, don't be giving him all them shots, ho. <laughs> So we had to wait for valet, cause it was a no, uh, it was a no valet. It was you had to valet your car. 
So it's so motherfucking cold, child. It was so motherfucking cold. I had a jacket and I just had a sweater. So this man grabbed me. This one I knew I loved him. He grabbed me. You know how you're going to date? After the date, you get cold. So he's, he had his jacket on. He was trying to give me his jacket, but he was cold. So I just got under his jacket with him. And then it's like my chest touched his chest. Our hearts touched each other's heart. It's just everything just connected when I hugged him after the first date. And then we went to the house. I get in that shit, take it to the crib shit. You get the connecting and shit. Since then we've been, I've been fucking with that shit.